Good morning, fellow privateers. You haven't heard from me for a little bit. I've uh, been traveling, but I am back in action. And uh, it's funny, I, I came back and everything I'm reading is this most important week in foreign exchange and of 2018. And so far we're 0 for 2, as there really hasn't been anything. The Trump-Kim meeting amounted to nothing, as I expected, as privateer expected. The uh, first round of the votes uh, with, in Parliament uh, in the UK amounted to basically nothing. We'll show you a cable chart, a daily, an intraday chart. But let's take a look at some of the bigger picture stuff first. Uh, Euro yen has, had, has been on a nice move up, as you can see here. And we had this uh, pretty ugly daily bar against the double top now. Um, 130.30 is our point to the top side, but I'm starting to lean a little bit left, thinking that, uh, you know, maybe this has done enough. You know, dollar yen has been on a, on a decent little move higher. It's not a great trend line, but, you know, it comes in somewhere here at 128.75. That's a Euro yen chart. And also, let's take a look at Aussie. That, that one caught my eye. We have an uh, outside reversal. Now, this isn't coming from the highs, but we did have a very bearish looking daily bar. You can see it's a, a bit higher here on the open. I'm thinking we can get a test of this lower, tr this uptrend line here at 75.25. Um, you know, that to me, and we do have some uh, Aussie jobs data coming out, so that, that could be a catalyst for that. Um, crude oil sold off uh, late in the day on some Russian news. Um, take a look at this. Uh, let's go back to this Euro yen chart. Yeah, there's the Euro yen chart. So kind of a reversal lower day. Uh, most of the majors were extremely quiet. We will take a look at the uh, the cable. Um, let's take a look at the cable hourly bar. You can see some of the shenanigans in that. Um, had a big up move here. They, they, they took this as a positive response with um, the UK uh, government winning a few of these votes. And then it was more of a sell the, uh, sell the facts. It was kind of a buy the rumor, sell the fact. <clears throat> Closed here at 133.70. Uh, see what the daily bar looks like. Indecisive, unchanged. And we have, you know, more votes on these um, tomorrow. So, um, again, that, that, that one is just, you can't really position trade it. It's more of a scalp type trade. Um, the dollar strengthened overall. You saw it mainly with this high yielder in the in the Aussie dollar, but you know even the euro came off. The, it really doesn't seem to like it too much um, above 118. If you, if you take a look here, let me just draw a horizontal. Um, let's draw a horizontal line here. We've got this 118. The figure we closed on it. Tested it, closed below it, traded over it, closed below it, traded over it again. We actually have a, a few, if we look at the 240 chart, got a little downtrend line forming. This is in uh, front of the Fed meeting tomorrow and the uh, ECB on Thursday. So we got a little, little, little kind of consolidation which, uh, you know, this is tight. It's getting tight here, but, uh, you know, I think between the Fed and the ECB, things are gonna, things are gonna move. Anyhow, so uh, the, the Fed's Powell was weighing the option of having a press, press conference after every FOMC meeting, which makes every meeting live. And the market took that as a, kind of a hawkish um, posture. So, 
you know, the market interpreted it as a signal the Fed wants to hike more than three times in 2018. Um, and we only need one vote tomorrow to bump the dot plot up to four hikes. Um, the market seems to be kind of mixed on uh, somewhere between three total and four total hikes in uh, 2018. Um, CPI data came out uh, in line today, so no no big market moves on that. And uh, like I said, with Australian dollar, we've got we have the jobs report, and I think people will be paying attention to the um, the full time number because that that data has been very volatile of late, and uh, people are wondering if the reporting is actually accurate or not. So good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best. Cheers. Bye.